Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how you can create this awesome pitch deck presentation with clickable slide zooms in PowerPoint. Let's go! Alright guys, so let's jump into PowerPoint and in this tutorial I'm working on PowerPoint Microsoft 365 for Mac and the first thing that we need to take care of is to find some beautiful photos that we can use for our presentation. And luckily for us today's video is sponsored by Adobe, so I'm going to use Adobe Stock, a place where we can find the perfect stock assets like photos, vectors, video, audio, templates and 3D assets for our creative project. Now let me show you how we can easily add the Adobe Stock add-in for PowerPoint and search for awesome photos without ever leaving PowerPoint. So let's go to Insert, now let's click on Get Add-ins and let's search for Adobe Stock add-in. Here it is, now let's just click Add. And our Adobe Stock icon has appeared in the PowerPoint Insert menu. That's awesome. Let's click it. And now we can sign in with an existing Adobe account or create a new one. By the way, if you go to stock.adobe.com, you can get 10 free Adobe Stock images, and that's super awesome. Link is in the video description. Okay, so for the first slide, I'm thinking of something that could symbolize a business idea, perhaps a light bulb. So let's go to Adobe Stock search field and let's search for a light bulb. And what I really like about the Adobe Stock add in is that we can get really specific. So let me just uh, copy a couple of keywords from my PowerPoint notes. Businesswoman holding a light bulb with a laptop computer in morning light. That's really specific. And now let's just paste these keywords into Adobe Stock search bar and let's give it a go. As you can see, we get multiple results. Let's uh, click on this photo. We can even go to more photos from series. And I think I like this one. So let's insert this one into PowerPoint. Alright, now we have this beautiful photo from Adobe Stock and as you can see we have some white gaps on the sides, don't worry, let's just go to picture format, let's go to aspect ratio and choose 16 by 9. Let's click on the crop button once again to finalize the results and now we can hold down the control key to resize this photo from center and now it covers the whole slide, that's awesome. Alright, so the slide bulb photo will be used for our homepage slide and after that we'll have to create 7 more slides for different parts of the pitch deck. Which means we have to insert 7 more slides and find 7 more beautiful photos. And to save some time I have already collected these photos in my Adobe Stock account. Let's just go to License History and here are all of those beautiful photos that we can use. So once again, super thanks to Adobe Stock for helping us out with these photos. And let's actually create a full screen photo slide layout. Let me show you how we can do that. Let's just go to View Slide Master. Let's insert a new uh, slide layout. Let's delete this title. Let's go to Insert Placeholders and let's look for a picture placeholder. Here it is. We can just double click it. Let's just move it to the top left corner of the slide. And now let's just drag this picture placeholder so that it covers the whole slide. That's awesome. We can give this slide layout a new name. For example, full screen photo. That's awesome. Now let's get back to the normal view and let's make sure that we have selected the blank slide. Here it is. And now let's go to layout menu and let's choose this full screen photo layout. And now once we insert a photo from Adobe Stock plugin, the photo should take the size of the whole slide. That's awesome and it saves some time. Right ladies and gentlemen, so let me quickly add 6 more slides and 6 beautiful photos from Adobe Stock and I'll catch you in a second. Alright, so all of the slides are ready and we have some beautiful photo backgrounds. And now let me show you how we can create and design the first slide which is the home slide where all of the slide zones will be placed. So as you can see we have some icons and we have some circles and we have this gradient rectangle on the left side with some text boxes. So let me show you how we can create all of that step by step. So first let's go to insert shapes and let's choose a rectangle tool. 
Let's just draw a nice rectangle. Let's make sure it touches top and bottom and the left side of the slide. OK. And by the way, as you can see, my rectangle has this gradient fill. Your rectangle probably will have a solid fill. So if you'd like to have a gradient fill, just click on gradient fill. And now just insert two color stops. So one color stop is at the position 20% with transparency of 0% and another gradient stop is at the position of 100% and has a transparency of 100%. So once I move the transparency slider, as you can see, we can get different transparencies. So that is all of the magic. Now let's select this rectangle. Let's go to animations and let's add a flying animation to this rectangle. Now let's choose animation direction from left. That's good. And now let's open up the animation pane so that we can check out how this animation looks like. Looking good. We can make sure that this animation starts with previous and for the duration, let's insert two seconds. And by the way, I think we can add a bounce end to this animation. And as you can see, when the rectangle bounces, we can see the left edge of the slide. So let me show you how we can fix that. Let's just select the rectangle and let's just resize it to the left side a little bit. And now I think this bounce effect should look just awesome. All right. Everything is looking smooth. Now we can just copy these text boxes to save some time. Let's get back to our slide and let's paste these beautiful text boxes right here. We can ungroup them because it was a group of text boxes. And these are just three simple text boxes with different font sizes and different line spacing. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about the text, text boxes, line spacing, letter spacing, all of that, you can check out my PowerPoint beginner's guide on my YouTube channel. Just go to my channel, go to videos, and there you will find beginner's guide to Microsoft PowerPoint. And now let's just select all of these text boxes and let's group them back into one beautiful group. Now let's select the rectangle and now we will use the animation painter to paste the same flying animation from the rectangle to these uh, text boxes. All right, now as you can see we have two animations in the animation pane. And let's actually jump to the selection pane and give proper names to our shapes. Okay, so this group 7, let's just call it text boxes. And the rectangle, let's just call it gradient rectangle. And now in the animation pane, it's much easier to see, you know, which animation is applied to which object. And by the way, currently these two animations are happening at the same time. So for that reason, we can add a little bit of delay, 0.2 seconds for the text boxes animation. And now we have a little bit of variety, variety, and I think this looks much more interesting. All right, guys, now let me show you how we can add these circles with these icons around the light bulb. So let's jump to insert shapes and let's use this beautiful oval tool. Hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle just like that. Now let's jump to format shape options and let's play with the fill and line. So for the fill, let's use no fill because we want to see through the circle. And for the line, let's use white color. Of course, you can use any color that you wish. We can uh, reposition this circle so that it goes around the light bulb. And sometimes you might notice that it's actually pretty hard to select an object when you have only a line. So for that reason, let's actually add a fill, but let's make it fully transparent. And now we can still see through the circle, but now it's really easy to select it because we can click anywhere because it has a fill, a transparent fill. So that's a secret hack for you, my friend. All right. And next, let me show you how we can add these uh, smaller circles with icons. So to save some time, I have prepared all of these icons that we need. So these icons were provided by PowerPoint. If you have uh, Microsoft 365, you should have this uh, icon tab in your PowerPoint version. Now let's just paste these icons right here and let's place them somewhere right here. Ah, oh, what a wonderful instruction. Paste them right here and move them somewhere. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys. So now let me show you how we can create those smaller circles. So we can just use the control key to quickly copy this uh, big circle. And for this smaller circle, I'm using three centimeters for height and width. And now we can bring this smaller circle to this first icon. That's awesome. And now let me show you how we can connect the smaller circle with this bigger circle. And for this purpose, we will be using an arrow. All right, so let's just draw an arrow. And let's make sure that we are targeting these uh, green points on both of these uh, circles. This way, these two circles will be connected. And currently, this arrow is purple, so it's really hard to see. So let's go to Format Options. Let's use white color. And for the line width, let's use one point. 
And to make it more fun for the arrow type, I'm using bubbles, all right? Medium size bubbles. Okay. And I think we can as well uh, change the dash type. Now it's a solid line, so let's make it a dashed line. So choose any dash style that you like, for example, this one. And now we can as well rotate these circles a little bit to get a nice looking line, just like that. Because this line is connected and we can use the rotation to get a perfect straight line. That's awesome. And now we can reuse this smaller circle and this dashed line and position them to the rest of the icons. All right, so let me finish that and I'll meet you in a second. All right, so all of the circles are ready. And by the way, in the original version of the Space Deck presentation, I have as well added a pulsing effect to these small circles, but in this tutorial we will skip that to save some time. But don't worry, you can learn all about the pulsing effect in my collaboration with Tyler in this video. Alright, and now let's continue. And next, as you can see, we have some titles. So let me just copy all of these titles once again. Let's just hit Ctrl C or Command C to copy. And let's paste them into our slide. And let's just move them a little bit to the right side. So there's nothing too much special about these uh, titles. So these are basically rounded rectangles with a gradient fill. And now let's select all of these circles and titles and let's group everything into one big group. As you can see now we have this awesome huge group. Let's rename it, for example, Bubbles. And now let's go to Animations and let's add an entrance animation called Zoom. All right. And in the effect options, we can uh, change the shape, for example, a circle, that's good. Let's make sure this animation starts with previous, let's check it out. Okay, now it zooms in, so let's get back to the effect options, let's choose out. So now it should zoom out, and I think this looks just perfect. Okay, so let's check it out on the full screen. So here we have this rectangle on the left side, and we have this zooming circles with icons in the center around the light bulb, that's awesome. Okay, so the next step is to actually add those uh, other slides of the pitch deck. And to save some time, let me actually just copy this content that I have created previously, except the background photo, because we already have the background photos. And let me quickly paste the content into the pitch deck slice. All right, so all of the content has been magically added to the rest of the slice, and now we can jump to slide zooms. So let's go to insert and let's click on this button zoom. And let's choose slide zoom and here we can see all of the slides that exist on our presentation and now we just have to pick a slide where we would like to jump so for example slide number 13 okay so let's just click insert and this is our first slide zoom and once we click on the slide zoom we will jump to the next slide which is slide number 13 okay and now let me add the rest of the slide zooms which correspond to these uh, icons okay and now, as you can see, all of these slide zooms, they have pictures, but in my original presentation, there were no pictures. We basically had these invisible slide zooms. So let me show you how we can make those invisible slide zooms so that we can see the icons. And by the way, I'll show you why we have these two identical slides in the beginning as well. And first, let me show you how we can make these slide zooms invisible, okay? So let's just go to Zoom Tools and here we have the special button called Change Image. But before that, before we use that button, we have to create an invisible picture. So what do I mean? Let me show you. So let's just go to Insert Shapes. Let's just draw a rectangle. Let's make sure that it covers the whole slide. Okay, and for the fill, let's just use a solid fill, for example, black. And now let's go to Fill Options and once again let's use the Transparency slider and let's make this rectangle fully transparent and now let's just right click and save it as a picture. Let's make sure that we're using PNG to save the transparency. And now we can delete the invisible rectangle because we'll be using the image that we have created. So let's select the first slide zoom, let's make sure that we check this box Return to Zoom because we will zoom in and after that we'll zoom back. And now we can change the image of the slide zoom and we can select that transparent rectangle. And as well, let's make sure that our slide zoom has no border. That's awesome. And now we have a beautiful, perfect, invisible slide zoom. Okay, and as you can see, we can click on this first icon because here we have this invisible zoom. We can check out this slide and once we click again, we zoom back to the home page slide. And now let me update the rest of the slide zoom so that all of them are invisible. And I'll meet you in a second.
Alright, so all of these light zooms are ready, let's check them out. Let's click, for example, on the solution icon, we zoom in. Alright, we check out the slide and now we zoom back. That's awesome. And as you can see, each time when we come back to the home page slide, the home page slide animations are repeating. So for that reason, I have created two starting slides. One with animations and one without animations. And let me show you how we can connect them. So let's get back to our slide. This is slide number 12. Now let's uh, duplicate slide number 12. Okay. And now let's make sure we are on slide number 13. Now let's go to animations and let's delete all of the animations. So there will be no animations on slide number 13. But here we will have slide zooms. Okay. So let's make sure we have slide zooms on slide number 13. That's awesome. And on slide number 12, we can delete slide zooms but keep the animations okay and as well for slide number 12 let's make sure that we go to slide transitions and we check this checkbox after zero seconds which means after these animations have finished playing we will transition to the next slide and this will be our main slide where all of the slide zooms are placed okay and this way we will see the starting animation just once and after that, we will jump to slide number 13, where there are no animations. So here's slide number 12. Now we automatically transition to slide number 13. We check out this uh, product slide. Okay. And now we zoom back to slide number 13, where there are no animations. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was all for today's tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.